All right, I'm sorry about the thumbnail, all right? Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Just got done with the morning shift. Oh, they finally opened the Starbucks. Oh, there you go. Dub's in the chat, so if I ever need Starbucks, freaking a block away. Now I got two options. Still a little bit shook from last night, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've repeated the Roman Reigns video like 10 times now, something like that. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I feel like, I think I have. I, I, I kind of briefly talked about this in the dating video. I don't really believe in aura like that. I think it's more like energy, you know what I mean? But honestly, if you want to call this one aura when it comes to Roman Reigns, man, that man has the craziest aura of all time. I love me a little bit of Roman Reigns, man. That's the type of guy that would make you insecure, you know what I mean? That's the type of guy that like you want to be. Like his story and stuff, he's, he's honestly a role model, you know what I mean? Like if you know his story and stuff, like the whole leukemia and like his, his upcoming, it's really inspiring, so. All right, enough glazing. <laughs> it's one of those days where we're just gonna be just seeing what happens, you know? Alrighty, righty, righty, ladies and gentlemen. Just got done with Walmart now. You know what? I'm hungry, and I am a man of health. I never advocate for fast food because I think that's one of the un most unhealthiest things you could ever have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home and cook something incredibly healthy. Welcome to McDonald's. Will you be using your mobile app today? Oh, uh, no, no. Let me get that smoky quarter pounder, please. No tomatoes. A uh, single or double today? Uh, let's do a double, please. And a number five meal, please. 2083 at the next window. Thank you so much. That's really healthy. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so before we even get to eating here, right, I got a toilet seat because my toilet seat is broken. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope this fits. If it doesn't, uh, at least I can return it, right? Boy, I got some PJs because uh, I just feel like getting some PJs. Also, I got this because for some reason, right, hold on. Like, I don't know exactly what happened to it, but like, like if you, hold on, if I screw this back in here, you'll see, like, like you see, it, it, the thing comes off like it's broken. So your boy got this to fix it, right? Before we can even do all that. Oh, no, it's, it's got some chicken nuggies. Mm. Da -da -da -da. Damn. And then also, Smoky BLT Quarter Pounder is what, it, what what they, what's the name of it, right? Damn. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, <laughs> what I just realized is that uh, the, the toilet seat wasn't broken at all. The only reason why it was moving like side to side is because the screw wasn't tight. So I could have let it just tighten it up and it saved money, but womp womp, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I you know, I, I can see the hype when it comes to the pajama pants, all right? They're comfy as hell, I'll say that. Very, very, very nice. Your boy might go to Walmart and buy some more. I don't know when, but, you know, I'll, I'll eventually go in and buy some more. Does this mean I'm just gonna go around and wear it everywhere? No, no, no. If I got nothing else to do and I'm not going outside, oh man, I'm wearing that. That, that is really nice. Right. Done with work. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What am I doing tonight? I don't know. I'm kind of lost here. I feel like, uh, oh. I want to finish orientation. All right, but first, y'all don't know, man. 11 bucks at Walmart, too. Now that's a good price. All right, fish feeding time. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. It's a feeding frenzy, ladies and gentlemen. There's more. Keep going. Oh, no, there's one that got stuck in the plant. There's two of them that got stuck in the plant. You guys are clowns, man. I hope you know that. And just like that, we are done, ladies and gentlemen. We're done with the orientation, finally. It took months. <laughs> don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank God. Jesus. All right, move on to other stuff. All right, I'm sorry about the thumbnail, all right? I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I do not expect to be forgiven. The only reason why I'm doing this thumbnail is because I actually wanted to just talk about my pants. I, I I don't know what it is. I wanted to make a pants review, and here I am, all right? Here, here's, here, here's a pants review. In order to do a pants review, you gotta take off the pants first. You gotta hold out the pants like this, all right? This is my pants that I got going on right now. This is my PJs. Damn, I'm getting a canker sore. This is my PJs. I bought this from Walmart for 11 bucks. I got the black and white version because, I don't know, I'm, I'm a basic bitch. For those of you that don't know what a pajama is, that's the stuff that you wear when you're in bed. Normally, I don't wear anything. <laughs> no, I swear I do. Maybe I do. I don't know, bro. I, that's TMI. Either way, this is this is my pajamas that I'm going to be using for, from now on, all right? This is the type of pants that you see everywhere. You see this at the grocery store. You see this at a retail store. You see this at Hollister. You see this at American Eagle. You could possibly potentially see it at a gym for some...
reason. I don't you know why people wear this at the gym but you know to, to each their own right or you've seen a resurgence of people wearing this specifically youtubers because you know I, as a mic'd up youtuber well not me specifically but like a lot of the mic'd up youtubers going on right now a lot of them wear pjs for some reason maybe i'll start doing it maybe not probably not but that's that's just me you see this all the time and for the majority of the time you see people wear this outside of their bedroom and why is that why what is the hype all about when it comes to pjs all right i don't know that's why i decided to buy one because i was like you know what I'm curious. Let's do it. Now I can finally see why. This is a complete positive review of PJs, and uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just excited to review this for you guys, alright? If you don't have one of these, alright, specifically the Walmart ones, do yourself a favor and buy yourself one, alright? 11 bucks, what do you really have to lose? Even if you don't like this product at the end of this review, you just give it to someone else. Oh yeah, by the way, side note, this isn't sponsored. This is literally just because I had no other ideas, so I'm, I'm, I'm PJ reviewing, alright? This right here... Uh, what, what, what's the material on this? Alright, so for this one, the material is, uh, is fleece. This is from Fruit of the Loom, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot what size this is. Well, this is small, but I think this is 2830 or something like that. Fits perfectly for me. For those of you wondering, which is zero, what fleece feels like, uh, it feels, it feels really comfortable. It feels great on the hands. Actually, here's a little thing that I've never, like, talked about, right? I hate cotton. I, I hate cotton. Is there one that, oh, uh, hold on. Or whatever material it is. I don't think it's 100% cotton. I don't have it anymore because I, I got rid of it because I hate it. I used to have these, like, PJ shorts that came from the Philippines. And, uh, for a while there, I really liked them. But then I realized, like, every time I would stick my hand in the pocket, for some reason, the material is so, like... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my hands just being so dry or like the material being wonky, but like every time I stick my hand into the pocket, it like creates like little, not hangnail, but like, it, like I don't know what it is. You, you get what I mean though. It get like little cuts, like it, it peels, you know what I mean? That's why I hate that material specifically. I think it's cotton, but it's kind of like this, but a little bit more exaggerated. So I don't think it's 100% cotton like I mentioned, but it's definitely on the ballpark. Like my hatred, all my homies hate that material, but it sucks. The thing is about that material is that it was really comfortable. However, like like, like I said, if I stick my hand in there, just pause. <laughs> if I stick my hand in there, it just kind of like, I don't know, it creates little cuts on my hand. So that's the only thing that sucked about it. This right here, it has both of that. This is very comfortable. And two, when I stick my hand in, nothing. Without further ado, I'm going to put these pants on. Give me a second. One thing that I go by heavily is having a really cold room, but having like a like a really thick blanket, all right? I like to go by that because it's the most comfortable way to sleep, I think. There's no other right answer, right? That's the only right answer. Cold room, hot blanket. That's the, that's the only answer. If you disagree, make sure to leave a like. Now, with that being said, having a really cold room matches with this. Because this has a level of warmth that just fits right, you know what I mean? It just works. It just works. It's not too hot, but it's also not too cold. Obviously, it's got insulation, so it's like, it's, it's, it, it keeps you warm, but like, it's, it's not too warm. That's the fun part about it, you know? It's almost like, I, well, I'm not, I don't know why I'm making this example when I've never worn one, but leggings, all right? Wait, no. No, I haven't, no. <laughs> no, 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 I swear, I swear, I haven't, I haven't. But I guess we'll compare it anyway, because that's like the majority of review that I get from leggings, I guess, when people talk about it. This is kind of like leggings. It's comfy, but it still keeps you cool somehow. I don't know what the f*** I'm on about, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I scratch that whole leggings theory. Right? This right here, it's just, it's just nice. It's just nice. Like I said, man, it's got a combo of cold and warm. And I, I, I don't know, man. It's like, look at this fit, man. Like, don't you want to snuggle up with me? Or, not with me. Don't you want to snuggle up in that? Just a thing of beauty. These are so nice. Like, no wonder why YouTubers wear this, all right? Am I going to be one of those mic'd up YouTubers that wear pajamas? Like I said, I don't know. Probably not. Whenever I'm in bed, this guy right here. I think I'm going to buy some more soon, so just so I can rotate it. But this is, this is nice. I like these ones, too. Like, I like shorts as well when I'm sleeping. But when I'm in, like, a perfectly cold room. Oh, right here, boys. Yeah, let me do a Rhea Ripley. Sick. Little side note, by the way. Who do I think is more delectable? Uh, Liv Morgan, of course. But who do I like more in WWE right now? Rhea. That's just me. But yeah, man, this is my pajama review. I don't know why you guys watch me, but, you know, welcome nonetheless. I might have to size down. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this is, this is completely fine. If I ever wear one outside of the bedroom, I will have to get one that's, like, smaller than this. But either way, let me do the Rhea Ripley again. What a video this is. Jesus Christ. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it Always got the key and my heart is to lock it Yeah, 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 yeah I like a pro, but you're really a novice